down at New Brighton, uh, there's, they had remnants from there's ancient electromechanical games. There's all, all the, and the, the, the indoor fairground. Uh, they, there were some proper relics there when, when I was a kid. And th th those were the things. It was the arcade, it was, it was the whole the fairground. Well, to be honest, the, um, it was, it, it's an expensive luxury for a small boy. And so I was drawing them in my school books before you know, imagining that new games that could be made. And I was thinking of them purely as arcade machines to begin with. Home computers didn't really fig figure into it. So when home computers started to become available, that's when I thought uh, there was, uh, I saw the opportunity there. A friend at school had his dad had an Apple II, and that's that's the one I really wanted. Uh, so I started saving up uh, cutting hedges, washing cars. Um, and the Acorn Atom is the one I had my eye on. And uh, after about six months of work, my uh, parents stepped in and got me a TRS-80 because I was hanging out in Sandy all the time. Uh, I was doing Saturday jobs there and uh, there's um, and that's what got me started.